Okay, it feels important to say this. I am not pulling my perspective on Israel-Palestine out of my ass, okay? I'm not just guessing that Israel is committing a genocide against Palestine. I have studied and researched this. I have bona fides and I will share them. First of all, I'm a Jewish woman. I was raised by a Zionist family. My grandfather was a Holocaust survivor. My family talks about our spirit of resistance and resilience constantly. Desiring goodness from the nation of Israel is in my blood and still I can see that this Zionist state is vicious, violent, and evil. If someone who was raised by a Zionist family, by people who believe that Israel has the right to exist and that it is our salvation. If I can overcome my pro-Israel bias and learn about this conflict, so can you. And frankly, I should not be calling it a conflict, it's a genocide. So when I was in college around 2012, 2013, a bunch of my friends and loved ones started going on birthright trips. And I knew enough then to ask the question when they got back from their birthright trips, what about Palestine? And when these people I love, admire, and respect started talking about Palestinians and using language like terrorists, I knew I had to learn more. I also knew that I wanted to go on birthright and I was nervous about being brainwashed by the trip and I should have been nervous. So before I went on birthright, I decided at my small liberal arts school in Massachusetts to get a well-rounded perspective, educational perspective on Israeli-Palestinian politics. I took four courses, Suffering and Evil in the Jewish Tradition, the Jewish Experience, Middle East Politics, and Arab-Israeli Conflict. I also took international and comparative politics courses that often brought up Israel and Palestine in comparisons to, for example, apartheid South Africa. And by the time I finished my ample coursework on the subject before I went on birthright, I was already pro-Palestine. Because once you are in the literature, once you are in the research, not the media stories about this, not the pro-Zionist rigmarole on CNN and MSNBC, once you are in the literature and the data, this isn't a debate. This isn't a question. People talk about Israel-Palestine like it is incredibly complicated, and I reject that premise. It is not. We know that anti-Semitism exists globally, right? We know that Jews are not the most beloved population in the world. We know that Britain has a colonial history and they have taken on colonial projects even through the 20th and 21st centuries. Essentially, Britain already wanted to colonize Palestine. So did the United States. And at the end of World War II, Britain and the US got to talking and they thought, hmm, who do we want to exploit for military labor some place that is surrounded by brown people so that we can rape and pillage land that we don't currently have access to. Where is one part of the globe we haven't effectively colonized yet? And there was Palestine. And Britain had been trying to colonize Palestine already. And so this was passed off to Jews who had just survived the Holocaust as a gift. Here we're granting you this parcel of land so that you and your progeny can exist in peace and not be violated anymore. Congratulations. Except that land already belonged to someone. Palestinians were already living there. And the US and Britain didn't give a shit about the well-being of Jews. They didn't care. This wasn't a gift for Jews. This was always intended to be a trap of you do our military labor for us. We'll put you here and we'll grant you this parcel of land that already belongs to someone that there are already people on. And in return, you will rape and pillage that land for us and we'll just all share in the wealth. And it might be a good idea too, if like your entire population were to, you know, have conscripted military service so you can really defend that land that is yours. Totally, totally yours, bucko. And if you see who has emerged as the political leadership of Israel over the last few generations, this won't surprise you. This insidiousness will not surprise you. This is how you get Benjamin Netanyahu, someone who absolutely agrees to the premise of Israel as a Zionist ethno-nationalist state, who says we are here for one thing and one thing only, is to get, garner as much wealth from this earth that we have, as much tourist property from this plot of land, convert it to dollars, and build up a military so mighty, a military apparatus so great that we wind up producing the world's weaponry. Yes, we have mined this land and we have used the land to give you war machinery so that we can all murder each other a thousand times over. And to the people already living here, well, we'll murder them too. I took basically a semester and a half of college courses on this. And I know in my bones that what Israel is doing right now is a genocide. It's evil. What they've been doing for the last 75 years is a genocide. It is drip violence. 
slow violence, protracted harm. It is meant to exhaust the civilian population of Palestine. It is meant to exhaust all Palestinians out of their will to fight. And all the benefit, the wealth garnered from that land goes to the primary stakeholders, not the Palestinian people to whom the land originally belonged.